What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and today I've got you an Espion team, courtesy of Beagle. Uh, I found this in the Pokesports Discord server, and it just looks awesome. I love Espion, Espion is super cool, and now it gets expanding force. Now, I don't know if you know this, but Espion is the second strongest expanding force user we currently have available in Regulation F. Hatterene is the strongest one, but this is a close second. And Hatterene doesn't have 110 base speed. So you can see why Espeon might be pretty cool. People are gen generally gravitating toward Iron Crown because it's new and it has better typing. But Espeon does hit harder and faster than an Iron Crown. Now you could use a booster energy to boost its speed, but you could also say you could scarf an Espeon. Uh, the rest of this team here is also pretty cool. We've got a Chiyu, which will boost the damage of Expanding Force even more. We've got an Ogre Pond to help redirect if Indeedee isn't doing enough. We've got an Iron Hands for Fake Out, which could also help get a little space, but that's not really what it's for. The Iron Hands pairs up with this very interesting Thunderous set. This Thunderous has Electric Terrain, which will... It'll get rid of the Psychic Terrain, but it'll boost Iron Hands significantly. Uh, that Terra Electric Quark Drive boosted Wild Charge can do some insane damage. Uh, it also has Electro Web to get a little bit of speed control and Thunder Wave because that's what Thunderous does. Anyway, I hope we have some good matches and let's get into them. All right, let's get going with match number one. We are fighting against a Minior team. Uh, they've got Chiyu Fluttermane, they've got Farigraph Iron Hands, they have the Water Ogre Pond, same as us, and they have a yellow Minior. That is super cool. All right, how am I going to get after this? Uh, I think Espeon is excellent here, except versus Chiyu. Uh, so to fight Chiyu, uh, we're going to have to throw hands. So, what's their plan to set up Minior? Oh, they have a Fake Out and they have a Follow Me. Uh, so it shouldn't be too hard for them to set up mini or if that's the way they want to go. Uh, they may go for a trick room mode with Farigarath and Iron Hands. That wouldn't be bad against us. I think we just pop off with Espeon. This is match one. Let's just see what it can do. Uh, and then we obviously need to throw hands in the back. And da 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 da. Another follow me wouldn't hurt. Uh, Thunderous's priority isn't going to help much here. Uh, would Chiyu be good? Chiyu has a Sash, so it's pretty good. Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond hits a lot of these things. And just redirecting and being able to Oko the Chiyu. Yeah, Ogre Pond is in the last slot. Let's get at it. Let's see what this thing can do. I'm really excited for this. Life Orb. Terra Psychic, Expanding Force Espeon. I'm going to want to pop at turn one, even if Chiyu's out. I don't know if that's the right play, but I might do it anyway. Let's see who they got. It is Chiyu in the first slot. Okay. Well, that's okay. We have a lot of things that can take that in the back. We will just blast everything else you have. Now I don't know the speed tiers here, because this Espeon I don't believe is max speed. Let me see exactly the stats on this thing. 162, so that is slower than Chiyu if they're timid. If they're modest, it outspeeds. Um, but I think we need, I think just Rock Expanding Force, try to delete Ogre Pond immediately. And just to follow me. That way they can't Dark Pulse. Alright, we're Terrastalizing before the Chiyu Terrastalizes. Before the Ogre Pond Terrastalizes. They might not be Terrastalizing, which is good. Uh, max Speed Specs Heat Wave. I don't know how well Espeon takes that. Okay, they do have something slower. I would guess this is Ogre Pond then. They don't want to get rid of their Dark Typing at all. Yes. They want that special defense boost. That makes sense. 
Now, are you faster or slower than your Chi Yu? And what are you going for? Alright, Indeedee's Follow Me comes out. And it's just a Dark Pulse into Indeedee, who eats it, so we're good. Throughout this expanding force, Espeon. Ah! An Ogre Pond just drops! That's not even a crit! <laughs> Espeon, you're a monster! And we confirm they are a timid Chiyu. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, Minior is not going to help you. Yeah, the, the boost from the Beads of Ruin is actually helping our Espeon here more than it's hurting. Uh, if they want, they can protect and go for another Dark Pulse, maybe a Heat Wave. I think that's okay. I cannot afford to let them just Shell Smash if that's the kind of set they are. So, another Expanding Force, and no choice but to follow me if I want to expand. Endure Minior, okay. That's, it's not protect, I'm, I'll take it. Uh, what is Minior's base speed though? Dark Pulse into Indeedee, okay. Indeedee, you did your job well, and Expanding Force. Okay, so the core form of Minior is 120 base speed. So that should actually be faster than Espeon. But, unless they are Terra Ghost, I can actually fake them out this turn if I want to take it out that way. I don't know if they would see that coming. Uh, if I go into Ogre Pond, they will possibly Acrobatics and take out the Ogre Pond and then Dark Pulse. Can't do that. All right. Iron Hands it is. All right. Yeah, and because Minior is a flying type, I can fake it out. So I'm just going to protect from this Dark Pulse. They might protect the Chiyu if they can. And fake out the Minior. It can't protect because it just endured. I don't think they would go for a double endure. I don't think they would have endure and protect. Anyway, let's see what you got. <laughs> I'm having a blast with this Espeon already. I don't know if it's going to be able to pick up another KO in this match. We may have to trade it for Chiyu. Oh, Chiyu just protects. Okay, that confirms it's not choiced in any manner. So this was a waste of our protect, but it wouldn't have done any good to attack anyway. And Minior is gone. Awesome. And they already blew their Terra. So this Chiyu is a sitting duck for either Ogre Pond or Iron Hands now. Okay, they have a Flutter Main. Uh, Iron Hands, you can take a hit from that, right? You don't have Heavy Slam. But you do have a lot of special defense investment. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. And yeah, Espeon's going to have to take a Dark Pulse if they Dark Pulse. If they don't Dark Pulse, would it be better to break a potential Sash on Chiyu or get big damage on the Flutter Man? Would they be Sash and Endure on the Minior? I don't think so. Yeah, I will just Dazzling Gleam just in case and Drain Punch the Chiyu. Yeah, it's just a Dark Pulse. Good job, Espeon. Take a rest. Now it's Iron Hands' job. Iron Hands, you have to take this Beads of Ruin, Choice Specs, maybe? Moonblast. And you do, because you're amazing. You Drain Punch the Chi- and they're sad. <sighs> hmm. Can we still win this? Ogre Pond, what is your base speed? You are slower than that Chiyu. Oh no. Oh no! Did Espeon do so well just for the rest of the team not to be able to close it out? Oh no! 
The Moon Blast into the Iron Hands. They Dark Pulse into Ogre Pond. No. They protect the Chi Yu. That's our play. Yeah, we play toward them protecting Chi Yu. We crit the Flutter Main. And if they throw in some other way, Iron Hands can finish off Chi Yu. Yeah, that's what we play to. They overheat. That's absolutely insane. Okay. This Ogre Pond has a lot of special defense investment. I don't. I don't know what's gonna happen here. Moonblast. Oh, that does a lot. And then an Ivy Cudgel does not pick up Fluttermane. All right. Well, that's a GG from Chiyu and Flutter. Let's jump ahead to game number two. All right. So in match one, Espeon did great. Uh, we couldn't quite close it out, but I want to bring it again, so I just I just will. All right, they have Fire Ogre Pond, Tornadus, the, an Indeedee of their own, and Iron Crown is their expanding force user. They have an Urshifu, I don't know which, and they have a Fluttermane. All right, I am just going to put out the Psychic Terrain immediately. Uh, the only thing they have that can take that is maybe a Dark Urshifu. We have two Dazzling Gleams out, though, so we can do something to it. And Iron Crown can obviously take um, an Expanding Force. Alright. A good answer to Iron Crown would be our own Chi Yu. That, it, it would have to run a Focus Blast or a Terra Blast to be able to hit Chi Yu. So Chi Yu I think is great. And then in the last slot, our Water Ogre Pond could be really good if we preserve Terra for it. And I'll have to remind myself that because I like to click the big purple button on the Espeon. <laughs> that might have been a, a flaw in game one. Maybe I shouldn't have done that immediately, but uh, Ogre Pond, I think, is the last here. Yes. Alright. Yeah, if that's a Water Urshifu, Ogre Pond is great. I get the feeling it might be dark. Even though, I don't know why that is. It's just, when I'm playing Psy Spam, it's always dark. And when... Uh, when I when I have fire types, it's always water. You know how it is. All right, so they lead off with Iron Crown and Didi. All right, let's just see who can expand better. That's that's all we got. We are both going to expand our forces. All right, their Iron Crown has a booster energy, and it boosts its special attack. Special attack boosting Iron Crown. Uh, if it's timid max speed, it will be faster than this Espeon. Their Indeedee was not Psychic Seed. So, I think bringing in Chi Yu would be amazing right now. But on which slot? I think it would be better... Yeah, just bring in Chi Yu. Do I want to follow me? Do I want a Dazzling Gleam to get some chip? Do I want a Heal Pulse just in case they break? Yeah, I'm going to Heal Pulse at the Chi Yu just in case they break its Sash. And if they follow me, it'll just do nothing anyway. Alright, Chi Yu. This is a great position for to be you. Yeah, they do follow me. They're in DD, so I'm not going to get the Heal Pulse. That's fine. And it is a Tachyon Cutter, which Chi Yu takes extremely well. Awesome. Awesome. I guess it should have been a follow me, but that's fine. I expected an expanding force or something. Now they Terra to get away from this, but I see no reason to not throw it out anyway. So here's a Heat Wave, and here's a follow me. Yes, that's right. All right, let me see what your crown is. I guess it's uh, water because you picked that pretty fast. Yeah, it's water. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Now we can expand in your force. I'm happy about that. I want to make sure we have enough psychic terrain to do that later. 
they follow me as well. I guess R&DD is faster or it's a speed tie. How much does Heatwave do to their R&DD? Just under half. And the burn on Iron Crown. That chip will be pretty significant. I like it. And they have Water Terra Blast. Okay. Pretty cool set, but we're not falling for it. Our Ndidi is taking over half, though. All right. In that case, let's get Chiyu out of here for Ogre Pond. And get some more chip with Dazzling Gleam, or should I try to bring in Espeon here? I think bringing in Espeon is really aggressive. But it might pay off. Yeah, they did over half with Terra Blast. I think they might just throw it again. And that might have convinced them that our Chiyu is choiced because we swapped it out immediately. That might trip them up with. Espeon the once sleepy. Oh, that's adorable. Yep, just to follow me with Ndidi. That is fine. And a Terra- Oh! Oh no! Not our Espeon! Okay. So one thing we know is that our Chiyu did our Chiyu go before that Iron Crown? That would make Espeon the fastest thing on the field. That would be excellent. And if not, we can throw out a Horn Leech. Yeah, I'm gonna throw the Expanding Force. I think, I think they're modest. That would explain how much damage they're doing as well. Alright. Show me. Yes! Espeon! Yep, yeah, that crown is gone, and Ndidi hangs on by a sliver, which is fine. I mean, we're taking it out with Ogre Pond. Goodbye, crown. You are not the best expanding forest user. That is Espeon. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Now let's see if we can close this. Off to a decent start, but... Espeon was off to a decent start before. Okay, it's another Fluttermane. They can just Dazzling Gleam. They don't have to... Oh no, which Urshifu? Which Urshifu? It is Water Urshifu. Okay. Uh, in this case, they have to Dazzling Gleam. Otherwise, Espeon will pick up two KOs. If I, if I were to follow me, which I won't, but they don't know that. Maybe we don't have to tell them that. Uh, no speed control. So I think the play... Ogre Pond and Espeon are the only things that can take out that urge. So let's do it. Just going to Terra Water for the special defense boost. I doubt they would go for a Surging Strike from this position anyway. So I don't need the Water Absorb. But I do not want to take too much damage. And then I'll just heal it all off on that Urshifu. Now it's possible they are Scarf Urshifu. Yeah, they just go for a close combat. That does way too much damage! No! Oh no! Oh no, Ogre Pond! Oh. Oh. And now, with them being locked into close combat, you would have to win. Close combat, and then Dazzling Gleam. Is there any way out of that? The only way out of it is to live a Dazzling Gleam, 
and super ultra mega crit a heat wave on both of those. While I don't exactly see that happening, it is our win condition, and so we're going for it. It's gonna be follow me, it's gonna be close combat, the Urshifu will be down to minus two. We will try our best to take a single target Dazzling Gleam. And then we will try to Oko a Fluttermane with a spread move. Dazzling Gleam, and we didn't take it anyway. Fluttermane? All right, here we are on match number three, and that is a very interesting team. They have Ampharos, Toxtricity, they have King Gambit, they have Spiritomb, they have Wochien, and they have a Great Tusk. That is very weird. Uh, King Gambit is a great response to Psy Spam, and so is their other Dark type that could set Trick Room. Uh, and they have a third Dark type down there, just in case that wasn't enough for you. All right, so we are gonna go, Chiyu seems really strong here. So we're gonna do that in the lead, try to blow some holes. And then is Espeon even the play? They could bring three dark types. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna throw, show the other modes in this team this time. Uh, the only priority I see is Sucker Punch, maybe from that King Gambit. So I don't think we even need Indeedee. I think, we can go aggressive. I think we can go Iron Hands, Chiyu, Ogre Pond. And maybe Thunderous. This Thunderous has Electro Web, Wild Bolt Storm. There's a couple things it cannot touch. But that's the same is true about the others. I think Espeon comes anyway. That's what I'm going to say. It does have Dazzling Gleam. It can do some damage. If we force a Dark type to Terra, a single target expanding force wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Especially not next to Chiyu. Alright, let's try it. Oh, they love Ampharos. No wonder they're bringing Ampharos. Let's see what we got here. An Ampharos Toxtricity lead. Is this a plus and minus type deal? That's what I think is going on here. I think one of those has plus and one of those has minus, and they have the boosted special attack on both. Uh, Iron Hands, you're going to appreciate that Assault Fest. Alright. Uh, the threat, I think, is the Toxtricity. The Toxtricity is a lot stronger. And it could be going for, I don't know, Boom Burst. But I think we can just throw out a Heat Wave, do some good damage, and fake out the Toxtricity. Chiyu should be fastest on the field. Uh, the only speed control they would have would be a potential choice scar. Yeah. This seems fine. Now don't tell me you're a Terra Ghost Toxtricity. That wouldn't make any sense. But they are terrestrializing the Toxtricity into water. Oh, that's going to take this heat wave really well. Okay. That's pretty cool. Alright. Fake out goes off. Does a big chunk, actually. They flinched. They are faster than Chiyu. They're actually Scarf on Toxtricity. And Heat Wave doesn't take it out. Whereas Thunderbolt does a big chunk to Chiyu. Okay. Well, now that we know that, Iron Hands should be able to take any hit from these guys. So I'm just going to protect the Chiyu and finish off that Toxtricity. Uh, they're Terra Water. They're switch-ins to an electric move. They have a couple. There's, they have one switch-in to a fighting move. Uh, I think Drain Punch is a little safer. Plus, I would like to get some health back. They, they are going to hit first. All right. She used Protect comes through. And then it's a Sludge Bomb. Oh, it's just a Sludge Bomb into Chiyu. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Great. Then we Drain Punch. We are actually faster than the Ampharos. Very interesting. Okay. Goodbye, Toxtricity. What you tried to do was very cool, but it didn't work. And a Dazzling Gleam from the Ampharos. That's okay. Chiyu protects itself. Shouldn't do too much damage to Iron Hands. Oh, a little bit more than I expected, though. Okay. We know you're not Life Orb or Choice Specs. And then out comes Great Tusk. 
That is actually pretty scary. Uh, we know they're not Choice Scarf, though. And they cannot Terrastalize. So we can Heat Wave them. Our Iron Hands, however, is Terra Electric. So it cannot get out of the ground. Uh, we could swap in Ogre Pond. But I think I'd rather save the Ogre Pond for now. Espeon can clean up that Tusk later, too. So yeah, just a Heat Wave and then... Rain Punch into the Ampharos, I think that'd be good. Alright, Heat Wave double connects. And brings them both really low. It is Headlong Rush, though. Alright, both of these things are going down. But I think we're in a good position for once. <laughs> Espeon and Ogre Punk come out, and they are faster than these two. Uh, I assume just a Thunderbolt. Yep. Thunderbolt into Chiyu. Good job, Chiyu. You didn't miss any of those Heat Waves. Very proud of you. Alright. Now we'll bring Espeon in the rear. Espeon has been doing great. I think maybe I was just popping it off a little too quick. It wants to close these games. It, it was once sleepy, but now it's ready to go. Alright, in this case, it should be pretty trivial to throw an Ivy Cudgel and an Expanding Force, but... Have a Wochien swap in. I guess Dazzling Gleam would be fine too. We'll throw an Ivy Cudgel. And we will Dazzling Gleam. That'll definitely take out Tusk from here. Alright, Tusk just protects. That's fine. Whoever you wanted to get next to isn't going to be that big of a deal. I hope. <laughs> I've been real confident in these last two battles. And then they should go down to this. Excellent. See, these matches aren't so bad when they have goofy teams, too. <laughs> Alright, and who is your last? Your dark type. Your king. Okay, well. I could follow me to redirect any sucker punches. And I could just dazzling gleam. Um, would I be worried about a Kowtow cleave here? It's an Ogre Pond. Uh, if I follow me in Dazzling Gleam, is that better than Protect and Ivy Cudgel? I need to get an Ivy Cudgel off. Yeah, I, I can't win this game if I don't Ivy Cudgel this thing. So I'm gonna Ivy Cudgel that, and I will Protect. I know I'm leaving Great Tusk alone, but I think this is the play I need to take. Alright, Ogre Pond, let's see what you can do this time. And this Ogre Pond, I believe, it's trained mostly in special defense. But it also has max HP, so it's quite bulky. Espeon's Protect comes out first. Then what do we see? Oh, a double protect from Great Tusk. That is what I want to see. Yes! Uh, no Sucker Punch came out, though. And then the Ivy Cudgel does over half. Great. And it was just a Kowtow Cleave into Espeon. That is fine. That is perfectly fine. Now, what is their win condition? They need to get a KO with that King Gambit. If they Sucker Punch and Espeon goes down, they can hit a Headlong Rush into Ogre Pond. I don't know if that KOs. I don't want to risk it. Ivy Cudgel here. And a Double Protect. Would guarantee I have something left. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't think Sucker Punch could take down Ogre Pond. Yep, that has, it fails anyway. That's fine. And they go for the Sucker Punch. Great. Okay. So the Protect did protect me. And they Headlong Rush, and we take it breezily. Okay. I did not realize they would be faster than the Ogre Pond. That was a little scary. But we should be able to clean this up now. Alright. A 
big bonk on the head for you, King Gambit. And Espeon can clean this up. Unless they forfeit. Battle was cancelled. Alright, we got you a win. Yes. Alright, we're here with the bonus match. And this looks exactly like a team we faced earlier. Is this the same guy? Uh, they've got Indeedee, they've got Iron Crown, they've got Tornadus, they've got Fire Ogre Pond, they have Fluttermane, and they have Urshifu. If this is the exact same team, that's a Water Urshifu. Okay. Now how do we play better this time? Last time they just went with Psy Spam against us. In which case, Chiyu would be great. Other than... The Terra Blast Water. Uh, we could Thunderous, which we have not brought all day. Thunderous could do good. Thunderous could turn off their Psychic Terrain. Thunderous could slow them down. And Thunderous can hit a lot of those things really hard. They have one Electric Resistance. Okay, we're, we're going to bring Thunderous. And next to Thunderous, I think we're going with... Is it Chiyu? Or is it an Ogre Pond lead? Uh, if we do Thunderous Chiyu, they could just throw Terra Blast immediately. But I think that's pretty good. We want Ogre Pond, and we want Iron Hands. Alright, let's do it. Espeon is on the bench for this one. Espeon put its work in. It's time for the rest of this team to pick up some slack. Let's go. Alright, who do we got on lead here? Nice outfit. Indeedy and Fire Ogre Pond in the lead. Versus our Thunderous and Chiyu. Alright, that's pretty interesting. Our Chiyu is faster than their Ogre Pond. That's very interesting. I was gonna say... Throw out an Electra Web. I don't even need to do that. Alright, we know that they have their Iron Crown in the back, so I'm just going to pull off an Electric Terrain now, so that they can deal with that. Since we are faster, uh, they'll just redirect a Dark Pulse, and they'll have to Terra to be neutral to Heat Wave. So I do think Heat Wave is the play. So I'm going to throw a Heat Wave as well. Uh, they are committing to the Terra. So this Ogre Pond wants to bop something. Okay. Go ahead, put on your mask, take less damage. Uh, my CU is faster than you, which is good. Uh, and then I can bring in my Iron Hands, who has a big boost in the electric terrain. Just to follow me from Indeedee, nothing too crazy. And we get off this electric terrain. That might encourage them to swap out their Indeedee next turn, which could be cool. Heat wave double connects again. This GU is very accurate. And it's just a stomping tantrum. Okay. That is fine by me. Now what you have to do is you have to take a double up. Uh Indeedee is just above half. I think I think Electro Web would take it. And it would put their Ogre Pond below our Ogre Pond. So I'm going to go with the Electro Web. I'm going to throw off a Heat Wave. Anything they switch into is going to have to take that combo. Just a spiky shield. Okay, they just want to give up Indeedy. So we get terrain control for the rest of the match. If we hit these. Chiyu hits. Chiyu's not even on the screen and he still land and moves. And Thunderous. This is much more accurate, Thunderous. There's no way this would miss. Okay, that would have been really funny if it missed. But it actually crits instead. Okay. Indeedee is down. And now we can also start throwing off Thunder Waves. Yeah, that Urshifu thinks it's faster than us, but it's not actually. Oh, never mind. It's a Dark Urshifu. This is a different team entirely. Uh, is it a Choice Scarf Dark Urshifu? Yeah, it might as well be. Oh, jeez. Okay. We 
have Iron Hands in the back. If it's Choice Scarfed, they can take us both out. I would love to get off an Electra Web, but I don't know if that's possible. I'm going to Thunder Wave their Ogre Pond. And I'm going to hope I can get off a Heat Wave. They just go for Sucker Punch. That's fine. Okay. Okay. At least we know you're not Choice Scarf. Thunder Wave the Ogre Pond. That'll help us with some hacks later. Or maybe now? No. Uh, Thunder, I'm sure you're fine. Yeah, you're not fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. We've got Iron Hands. And we've got our own Ogre Pond. Now, our Ogre Pond is faster than your Ogre Pond. But it is not faster than that other guy. We get our attack boost. Uh, they could swap out their Ogre Pond if they want to get their... No. No, 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 I Thunder Wave them. I didn't Electro Web them. They're stuck being slow. Could they be slower than this Iron Hands? Because this Iron Hands is 82, 164? Yeah, if they're adamant, we're faster than them. That's really cool. Uh, we got a free Fake Out turn, so there's no reason not to go for Fake Out Ivy Cudgel, but... They are just most likely going to double protect here. The Urshifu is faster than the Ogre Pond. No, that's because they're paralyzed. That doesn't tell me anything. Okay. That's just a waste of a turn. There was nothing better I could have done there. Now what they want to do is they really want to get rid of Water Ogre Pond. So they're likely going to throw a Wicked Blow at it. But we take that. And they already terrestrialize. And they don't have a swap in for Ivy Card. So that protect was just to protect the Urshifu's Focus Sash. So we are just going to. There's no need to terrestrialize either of these just yet. Yeah. Yeah, it's Wicked Blow. We have to eat it. And we do. And then it's an Ivy Cudgel. And then it's a Drain Punch. Okay. Now if you are Black Glasses or something, we have the Terrain Boost. This will KO you. But this is the day where everything goes wrong. So they're sad. Yeah, they're sad. Okay. Focus S, Urshifu. And the Electricity's over. There goes our boost. Who do you have in the back? It's probably Fluttermane. It is Fluttermane. So we have to take a Moonblast and two close combats and Wild Charge Recoil. Their Fluttermane is choice. The Urshifu has Protect. They could Protect the Urshifu. So the out is to Wild Charge the Fluttermane and then take a hit from both. go for. Alright, Iron Hands, let's see what you can do. It is all on you, because if they go for a Wicked Blow, Ogre Pond just drops. Uh, Dazzling Glee might drop it as well. Oh, it's just Shadow Ball into the Iron Hands. That's interesting. And then Wicked Blow into Ogre Pond. Okay. All right, Iron Hands, can you take this huge recoil and then a hit from Urshifu? That's the real question. Oh, and the Fluttermane is so bulky it takes it anyway. Oh, that's a GG. All right. They're locked into Shadow Ball. 
Yeah, there's no way out of this. I'm running. G, G. Let's go back to the rental code. Well, here we are back with the rental code. I hope you guys had fun. I had a blast. Espeon is so cool. Uh, we only went one and three, uh, but I still think it was great. Espeon, every time it came out, got to do some big damage. Uh, Chiyu, also Beagle. I don't know how you chain, train this Chiyu, but heat waves from this thing are not missing. All right, this is fantastic. All right, I had a blast. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you made it this far, I'm sure you liked it. So give me a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm Jordy, and uh, all right, peace.